The ID Center is the organization that takes the discoveries from the university and translates them into something useful in society. The vision behind the Idea Center was that group of people that would take this, these amazing ideas that had been generated by these geniuses you know, across the street and that we would fuel that genius. We would add to that. We would, we would make it commercializable. We would make it usable. We'd put it in people's hands. And it's all about the impact. At the end of the day, universities want to have impact. And if that's true, then someone's got to use the discoveries. So we're the people who translate the discoveries into usable outcomes. So the university receives hundreds of millions of dollars every year in research. In fact, all universities do, from the federal government, from states, from foundations, from corporations. And that's all about discovery, that's great. But what we've found is, is that there's great discoveries that never, nothing ever happens with them. They sit on the shelf, so to speak. And what we're saying is if we could take that intellectual property and if we could get it across what we call this chasm of chaos, where we've got solutions looking for problems and you know, really trying to understand what they might be used for, then we could really have an impact in the world in a good way, a very positive way, on our health, our longevity, our economics, our society, all of these different areas. And it takes an organization that's capable of doing something we call de-risking. So we've, so we've set up a process. It's a stage-gated, milestone-driven de-risking process that takes the discovery and works it through milestones until it gets to market. And so we have about 30 people here, professionals that know how to do this, that can take that technology and work with things like intellectual property evaluation, customer validation, technology development and growth, and then things like funding. We have an investment fund that we put to work on these technologies. And then also marshalling resources in the community amongst our alums and others as investors, as mentors, advisors, board members, um, working with entrepreneurs, so it's just an organization that brings all of the different things together at the right times, in the right places to move those technologies forward. At the Idea Center, under that umbrella is Innovation Park. And Innovation Park supports our startups in the sense that as we vet our startups and they need space or they continue to grow, we can provide them space, the two buildings together, are 80,000 square feet. Space varies here. I have offices that are like 150 square feet all the way up to 2,000 square feet, depending on the need. The building has been built to accommodate change quickly. Walls are easily removed, replaced with windows and doors, uh, which makes our space very amendable to growth as a business. What we have found is that people enjoy the commonality, that they're all startups. Although we do have veterans here that enjoy our space, it creates a really great environment for collision of ideas. Some of our companies have been two separate companies and then people meet and they come together and now they have a third company because this is what they've worked together on. So it's a real collaborative space. The mission of the Idea Center is to unlock discovery, fuel genius, and advance the common good. The Innovation Lab is a space where student inventors or researchers or members of the community can come and they can bring an idea. And we will help them to design, provide a design of that idea. We'll help them to prototype it and we'll help them to form a business around it and launch that idea. We help student inventors by giving them a place where they can work with a, an industrial designer to digitize their idea. Plug into one of our resources, be it a 3D printing lab, laser cutting lab, graphics lab, wood shops, where they can make a prototype derived from their idea, a physical manifestation of that idea. And lastly, we provide this glorious space where students can come in and launch that idea and make a terrific mess that they couldn't otherwise do in their dorm room or anywhere like that. The Idea Center and Innovation Lab truly want to leverage the whole process of commercialization and enterprise to have a broader impact in the world. Well, the Idea Center was created back in 2017 to essentially be the one-stop shop on campus for everything to do with innovation, entrepreneurship, the commercialization of research. And while a lot of that focus is on the faculty, as it should be, we realize that we've got 12,000 students on this campus that are eager to learn about entrepreneurship, they're eager to practice it, they're eager to dive in. So we wanted to make sure that one of the key pillars or foundations of the Idea Center when we started definitely focused on students, whether from undergrad, from the minute they walk in as a freshman, and literally out to PhD, and really everything in between. So, you know, from the very get-go, everything we do on this campus with regard to educating students around entrepreneurship and, and, again, bringing them in, and really with the Idea Center having a new place to do that, 
with all the resources and all the talent that's part of this organization, we felt absolutely that that has to be aimed and directed to the students. We kind of get them out of their comfort zone, right? This is not a place to just come and kind of hang out and play ping pong and shoot the breeze and about your idea. It's like, no, roll up your sleeves. If you're serious about wanting to start something, um, this is the place to do it. And so we've got, again, we've got programming, we've got funding, we've got an innovation lab that is amazing and awesome. And, so you can go build things, right? You can get your hands dirty. And we're gonna challenge you every step of the way. That's, that's how entrepreneurs ultimately succeed is they get tested a lot. So this is a whole new dimension that's been added to the university. And you know, we're dealing now with five to 600 students a year. So if they're serious about wanting to solve a problem and make impact, this is a place to come and help, help do that. There's actually a really exciting outcome that happens when all of this comes together. There are network effects everywhere in these processes. So think about it this way. If we can take the technologies that are developed at the university and be successful commercializing them, that will attract better faculty. It will attract better students. It will attract people into our community. It will attract resources, revenues, income, investment, entrepreneurs, people. Those will then turn around and attract more companies, will attract more economic vitality, right? And so all of this feeds back on itself in really promising and productive ways. So we just finished our fourth year. Uh, in those four years, we've done about 130 companies. So we've had a tremendous amount of success in creating those companies. We're at the very early stages of creating an ecosystem in this area, which includes investors, entrepreneurs, and other creative and talented people that can help us. But that's starting to grow as well and develop. The more companies we create, the more of those kinds of people it will attract, the more investment it will attract, and all of that works together in a virtuous cycle. I think if we're successful in five to 10 years, we'll look back and we'll see that this region has been completely transformed. Different kinds of economic growth, companies that are formed, the university itself, the research we do, the impact it has both here locally and in the world will be enhanced. And I think we'll look back and realize that the work we've done at the Idea Center was a major catalyst for that.